All right, 1220 here on this Monday morning, the final Monday of February. Where did the month go? Rebecca now here to uh, tell us what we're going to see at the end of the month here in this last week. It's well here. We've been rained out for most of the month, right? Certainly <laughs> of, the early couple of weeks. Yeah, yes, yes. And a lot of mountain snow. So that's that's all a good thing. Yeah. Well, now I got a little sunshine to celebrate because we Great. did get that last week of sun and now we're going to get back to a little sunshine today after a stormy start <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. So we're going to get a little bit of uh, relief here, but the showers are taking a long time to taper off north of Seattle. We have the convergence zone or the air zone where the wind usually uh, collides as it comes around the Olympic Mountains and you can see those clouds just really forming up there to the north where we still have a few spotty light showers. Paul's bow you got the clouds but we also have a little sun breaking through from time to time and that will uh, light up the water there. 47 degrees for Seattle currently and also for Shelton we've got 47, 48 for Olympia and we've even got some warmer temperatures farther north near the water of course Oak Harbor 49 degrees. As you look at the satellite picture, this is where you could see that little bit of shower activity farther north of Everett and it's moving up into the Cascades and it sort of falls apart. We're going to expect this trend to continue. These showers just slowly dissipating. If you notice that the wind is coming out of the northwest, the cloud cover seems to be moving from the northwest. So looking offshore for the kind of wind that we're expecting or the kind of weather we're expecting, we'll have high pressure here in place tonight and through the first part of tomorrow. But we're not going to be able to completely ward off the storm little weather system that's going to be moving up into Canada and just barely brushing by before it goes backwards again. What it'll bring us ultimately is just a few rain showers as we get into tomorrow afternoon and evening and you can see that on the University of Washington high resolution model looking closely at where the winds are coming together and you could see the little bit of a convergence zone being taken away. But let's go to five o'clock and you could see we're going to be dry even a little bit of clearing to sunshine even mostly sunny at times farther north around Bellingham and then we'll expect the clouds to come back a little bit of a return overnight tonight. So we'll have a cloudy start tomorrow. Tomorrow morning though we start to see a threat of a little bit of light rain hitting the coast, but most of us won't get these spotty light showers until we get into the mid afternoon and then we'll be on the cloudier side. So today you've got the sunshine. It'll be coming through here for Bellingham and Port Angeles shortly. High temperatures getting into the mid to upper 40s. 48 for Seattle is what's expected for a high. Partly sunny skies, nice dry afternoon. Seattle southward. Everett may still have a sprinkle or two, especially to your north, but Lakewood has got a nice day ahead. 48 degrees for a high temperature for you and on the coast, mostly cloudy skies, only a very slim chance of a light shower. We're mostly just going to look for drier weather, even for the coast. East of the Cascades, partly to mostly sunny, high temperatures up for 40s to the low 50s. Seven day forecast will bring back the cloud cover for the morning hours tomorrow, but just know the temperatures back to the upper 30s overnight. So for your Tuesday, we'll have increasing light showers. Then Wednesday, partly sunny skies. As we go from partly sunny skies on Wednesday, we'll continue it through Thursday and we'll see a little bit of a change as we start getting brushed by little weather systems as we get closer to the weekend. In fact, Saturday right now looks like we're going to have a pretty soggy go of it, but uh, we'll take it. We'll yeah. give a little fresh powder to the snow. Yeah, Saturday's a long way away.